All right, Celeste, Renee, Celeste, we've uh, we've been able to track down your shoes. <laughs> Look at these beauties. Uh, we're at Cirque du Soleil, Ama Luna, Ama meaning love meaning mother meaning mother luna meaning moon of course and look we've got larry edwards with us he's the costumer here and what is on my face what's happening to what, me right now what's on your face here it's a, it's a little small no yes, offense no please. understood but it's actually the uh stick dance uh headpiece that the boys wear so there's a scene where the girls are dressed in thousand arms and the boys are wearing um, stick dance costumes mm -hmm. and it's a yeah, the dance of a thousand arms. But this is a, a, a crinoline piece, which you can feel oh. on your head is very light. Yes. But on stage, it looks metallic. So it's, it's all really those tricks cool. Go ahead and uh, s slide that off. And I love. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, I okay. need a lot of attention. <laughs> That's just the beginning. Uh, what are we looking at here? This looks like uh, you've okay. It's one of the detailed a salamander yeah, or something. Well, What's happened? One of the lead characters on the island. So where the story of Amaluna is loosely based on the Tempest. It's where we started. Mm -hmm. So Diane Polis, our director, is trying to find a way of bringing a story which is unusual for Cirque. We've started with a story, but she's a theatre designer. Uh -huh. So she wanted to... She's very accomplished. Pippin, she's, right? Didn't she do the big yes, revival of Pippin? Yes. yes. Yeah. Did you see it? In New uh, York? I wish I had. No, I'm landlocked here. It was amazing. Yeah. So what she had to do then, her challenge, was to bring circus arts into the theatre. Mm -hmm. So it was a nice combination of both, but it was very difficult for her to try and find that combination between the artist, the costume designer, and the director. Because what the director wants, what the costume designer yes. designs... Yeah, often there are fist fights. Uh, it, well, but you know, you never hit a girl. You would never hit a girl. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. But uh, let's see your shoe world okay. back here. This, oh my! Uh, for, for, as we let Eric uh, kind of take a gaze here, uh, how many performers so are have, in the show? We have 50 performers in the show. And how many costume changes might any so particular performer each have? Each costume, each performer has at least three costume changes uh -huh. throughout the show. Some of them have up to six. So we travel with around 3,000 costume pieces, and there's three of us that, four of us, sorry, that travel with the show full-time, uh -huh. and we enlist three people in every city to help us out. So well, congrats to you. This is your you. fourth show, you told me, fourth 12 show, years with Cirque du Soleil. Yes. Yes. Boy, oh boy. I look at the, look at his on. noble face. Give us that profile. On. That chin is fantastic. Uh, that's Australia's finest right there. Well, we've got more to show you. Uh, we saw those girls sanding the wheels of their unicycles earlier. We're going to find out why that's so important. More coming your way from Cirque du Soleil's Amaluna in just a few. Of course, Cirque du Soleil, it's like no other circus, and I like to say circus, uh, that you're, you're likely to see. They do such an amazing job. Dozens and dozens of performers doing things you would never see in real life under this beautiful, beautiful big top. It's about six stories tall. We'll seat more than 2,000 people in here, but there's not a bad seat. It's all in a circular arrangement. Plus, the good news this morning is we've got Yuka and Satomi, they are about ready to knock your socks off. Ladies, take it away. There we go. If you are, you'll envy their efforts. Watch. <laughs>
unbelievable. This is great. Yuka and Satomi. Fantastic, ladies, thank you so much. Come over here to the center. Come over here. I know you're out of breath, and my Japanese is terrible, of course, uh, uh, but uh, you are sisters, right? Yes, yes we are uh, sisters. How old were you when you started the unicycle? When I was six. Six? Now, does your mother ride the unicycle? No, but... She doesn't! She learned after we ride in. <laughs> oh, really? Come over here next to, to the camera. We just have a, a couple of moments left. Um, how long have you been traveling with Cirque du Soleil? About seven years. Really? Seven years? Uh, boy, you, you see all of the world. Have, were you recently in South America as well? Yes. Boy, oh boy. Well, welcome to Phoenix. Thank you. You're going to love it here. The weather is going to be fantastic. Um, how long would it take you to teach me to learn to ride the unicycle? Like, how many years do you think? About 50 years. Right. <laughs> yeah, you've seen my work, I'm sure. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us this morning. There they are, all part of the fun at Cirque du Soleil. Ama Luna is the show, and we're running for the next eight weeks. You'll be glad that you came. That's it for us. We'll see you soon. All right, Cora. How about that for a challenge, though? Moms yeah. everywhere, need, they need to learn how to do the unicycle because their mom knows. That's pretty cool. Way to go. 50 that was years, though, to teach? Was that 50 or 15? I, I think they said 50. <laughs> That's a long time. Not a lot of faith.